What's up, everybody? Since you follow me over on Instagram and Twitter, you know that I got me some Shane Dawson palettes. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give one away right now. What are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? Okay, okay, okay. Enough of that. What do you What do you mean? What am I doing? Don't just give it away. You gotta tell them to like or subscribe or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, okay. So like and subscribe. What else? I don't know, man. I built the suspense or something. <laughs> oh God. Oh. What's wrong, Dad? I don't. I just. I just can't stop thinking about the problem. Let's focus on the solution. You're right. Focus on the solution. Focus on the solution. Okay, so how about this, Dylan? Yes. How about this? How about yes. we have him watch a little bit of the vlog yes. from when I went to the little th Shane thing, yes. and then we come back. That'll give me some time to figure this out. What do you think? Sounds great. All right. Okay. Roll the intro. What's up everybody? Good morning. So yeah, it's uh, 6 a.m. and I decided to get up super early and head down to here in Las Vegas, the Miracle Mile shop where the Morphe store is because I got this this idea. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get my beautiful girlfriend Tristan. She's, she's in there right now just still sleeping her beautiful self away. And I was like, I'm going to go get in line and get her this Shane Dawson palette. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a giveaway too, right? But why am I going so early? So I don't know. We're gonna see what the experience is like because I was talking to a friend who used to work at the uh, the shops down there. And yes, I know I look beautiful. Um, <laughs> but she was telling me that people like would start lining up down there at like midnight for like certain releases, like new Jordans and things like that. Uh, because we're like we're in Las Vegas, so this this place is twenty four seven too. So you can just go wherever, wait in line wherever, and yeah. So so yeah. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'll do this, and uh, maybe I'll vlog the experience. So there might be a million people there. I might be the only one, but uh, I don't know. I'll keep you posted. Wish me luck. All right, everybody. It is quarter after seven. As you can see, I'm looking ma beautiful. But anyways, thought I would do a quick update because I need my car heater to warm up because it's 45 degrees here in Las Vegas. Like a lot of people like here in Las Vegas and you think desert, hot, and don't get me wrong, it gets hot as a mug, right? But it also gets cold as hell. So yeah. And by the way, so I tweeted something out the other day about like, I don't think enough people give credit to Shane Dawson and Andrew, like, especially as a creator, as a creator who does, like, very minimal editing, like, those, these two guys, like, when you watch their series and you realize that it's just two dudes, like, that is mind-blowing, like, what they do and the production quality and everything, like, I, I just, like, I, I was telling uh, Tristan the other day, like, I would love just, like, a series of just, like, Andrew and Shane just showing us how they go through their process because they have so many clips and so much footage and everything like that and the way they intertwine it especially from different times and everything like like do they storyboard it like I don't I don't even know uh, but yeah anyways uh, I had my morning coffee and I decided to watch uh, a little bit of YouTube before I went in and yeah I just watched an awesome mental health video from uh, a channel called Supreme Banana I don't know if any of you know of her. But anyways, I was introduced to her earlier this year in like January um, because some people were asking me about, you know, uh, watching and reviewing her series on going and doing ayahuasca for her anxiety. And I have opinions about like ayahuasca and like Ibogaine and stuff like that. Some people in addiction recovery have tried that and I have some opinions about it. But anyways, um, I never ended up making those videos, but 
I saw Supreme Banana pop up today because she hasn't posted in a while and she did like a mental health update. So as I'm sipping on my coffee, I decided to watch it. And yeah, she opened up about how, you know, just some things going on in her life and how depression has hit her again. And I could definitely relate to what she was talking about. Like when things are going really well for you and then you get depressed, like it's, it's weird, man. It is so weird. And uh, like things have been going really well for me and I've been meaning to do like an update cause there's like some stuff going on behind the scenes that are amazing that I haven't told any of you about it. Uh, cause I wanted to kind of like chill and just see where it went, but I might do that soon. But anyways, like, um, yeah, I was talking to my therapist the other day because depression hit me in a real funky way. But anyways, uh, Supreme Banana, she ta also talks about like depersonalization and just learning these coping skills. And one of my favorite takeaways from her video was just realizing that life and your mental state is not this kind of linear path. And I think that's important for all of us to remember because sometimes like I get in my head and uh, they, they call it shooting all over yourself. Like. I'm like, I should be here in my mental health journey. I should be able to feel this way when I want to, I sh or I shouldn't ever be depressed or anxious or whatever. And like life circumstances happen, things change and whatever. And the most we can do is turn to our coping skills, turn to our resources, like our therapists, our support group, 12 step meetings, whatever the hell it is, and try to get back on track. But life wouldn't be life if there weren't ups and downs you know what i mean but anyways my car heater is finally going so uh i'll see you guys at the miracle mile shop all right everybody i just got to planet hollywood miracle mile shop how beautiful is las vegas in the morning i bet there's so many hungover and crazy people from last night on halloween like vegas halloween gets crazy but yeah i haven't been down here to the strip in forever like my anxiety is pretty under control these days, but something that still gets me really just like crazy is like big crowds and like congested areas. And that is what the Las Vegas Strip is. So anyways, I'm about to head in. I'm thinking there's either no line or a gigantic line. I have two hours until Morphe opens up. But anyways, I was driving over and I told you guys, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try to get more vulnerable on my channel and talk a little bit more. And my goal is that I hope, I hope it helps all of you open up. Like if I can do this on YouTube and have people come in and talk trash or whatever, like open up, talk to somebody you know. But anyways, whenever I go to something like this, like I went to VidCon, I went to uh, Vid Summit. Uh, this is different, it's not a YouTube event, but a lot of people who watch YouTube are gonna be there and I get nervous, all right? And let me just walk you through my process of my crazy brain. So like a lot of people, a lot of people who are, are here, like they might've found my channel from when I was covering Shane Dawson stuff, or I still do, you know what I mean? And I get nervous, all right? Because what if I run into people who absolutely hate me and they come up to my face and tell me they hate me? So I gotta like psychologically prepare for that, right? And then, and then what I tell myself is, Chris, you're not that important. Nobody knows who the hell you are. You're a small YouTuber, right? And then, and then the next voice comes in. And it's like, wait, but is that like talking down to yourself, Chris? You know what I mean? So it's this weird, like kind of balancing act. But anyways, I'm hoping if anybody does notice me that they're nice and they say hi and maybe we'll get some pictures to put up on the gram. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, again, I live in an amazing, amazing city, Las Vegas. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna head in there now. Wish me luck. I'm walking through the Miracle Mile shops at Planet Hollywood. I have no clue where I'm going, but I just start walking. I'm like, you know what, Chris? Just look for the line. Look for the line of people 
who are trying to get themselves a palette. And I come around the corner and I start seeing people lined up. I'm like, oh no, because I got there like two hours early, all right? But I get there and it wasn't too long of a line. I was pleasantly surprised. So I jumped in the line and I thought I was like, maybe like number 20 in line, but that wasn't case and you'll find out more about that later. But anyways, I was like, oh man, you know, cause I was, I was like hoping that there'd be an insane amount of people. It was one of those weird things where I wanted there to be like an insane amount of people just for like the pure spectacle of it. But I also didn't want an insane amount of people because I didn't want to wait in line forever. And I thought like I was showing up like insanely late by getting in line at eight o'clock. But I was like, oh, you know what, it's Vegas. I guess not that many people are gonna show up. But anyways, it was cool standing in line. Like it was so just awesome just seeing a bunch of Shane Dawson fans like talking about like his videos. Some people were like watching his videos in the line and everything. The line was just like chilling. And then look at this baby. Look at this baby rocking Shane Dawson merch. How adorable is that? Well, as time went on, the line started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then all of a sudden, like, I kind of realized like, yo, they were not ready for this. So they started to move us a little bit and they like moved us around to this like weird side, like where there was like a, probably like a 50 foot gap and I was like, I better not lose my place in line. Cause they didn't have those little like divider things. Like, you know, like at the bank or like at the movies when you're waiting in line, they didn't have those. So I was like worried we were gonna lose our spots. But like me and the people in front of me were like, no, we ain't losing our spots. So we were good. So one of my biggest concerns going into this was I announced that I was doing a giveaway, right? I was like, I'm gonna try to get more to do a giveaway. And then I'm like sitting there, I'm like, Oh my God, like, am I gonna be able to get any extras? So all of a sudden I heard this screaming, like I heard a bunch of people in line screaming, not like panic screaming, but just like, yay! Right, I was like, oh snap, did like Shane Dawson show up or something? And then this kid showed up. I don't know if I have any footage of him. It was this kid in makeup, I'm like, is James Charles here? But it was just like a little Morphe employee and he did his makeup very well. But anyways, they were like filming for their own social media and like getting everybody in line hyped. But they came over and they let us know that you can get two of each product, all right? So I'm like, okay, cool, thank God. Because if I could only get one, sorry, that only one was going to my baby girl, Tristan. All right, so I was pretty stoked. I, I, I found out I can get more than one. So like I said earlier, I thought there was only like maybe 20 people in front of me. And I actually tweeted out. And I was like, oh, this is crazy. There's like over 100 people here because as it got closer, the line kept getting bigger and just kind of eyeballing it. And maybe it's because I don't go outside that much. It's like, there's like a hundred people here. You know what I mean? But anyways, I see uh, the little mini James Charles coming through and like counting off people, right? And he gets to me and he counts number 47. And then it's like 48, 49, 50. And he tells the security people like, all right, we're letting 50 people in at a time. These are the first 50 people. So I was like, yo, that's pretty sweet. I'm in the first batch of folks to go in here. And by the way, I forgot to mention, but here's some footage like, how beautiful was this setup? Like, I'm not a dude who usually goes to like makeup stores, but it was like nuts. It was so nuts seeing, you know, what Shane and Jeffrey were like working on and then seeing it on these big screens and everything inside the Morphe store. But anyways, so once I found out I was 47 and the people right behind me were 50, then I started scanning the line even more. I'm like, my counting was way off. I'm like, there's gotta be at least three, 400 people here, right? Cause the line started getting even bigger and stretching down the mall. Um, but anyways, finally doors open and we got to go in. I got in that, that first bunch. And I really, I really wanted to get Tristan the black pig mirror. I forgot to tell her when I got home that I couldn't get it. But anyways, you guys are gonna learn about it right now. So like everybody went in there and they had like, you know, the little bags and everything like that. And then they had the mirrors, right? And I saw a bunch of people grab mirrors and then all the mirrors were gone. And then this lady, this employee who worked there, she comes up and she sets down a mirror and nobody was around. I'm like, swoop. And I got, I'm like, I got my girl a mirror, right? But then I noticed on it that it said tester. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if they're gonna let me buy this. And then when I finally got up to the counter, they didn't let me buy it. So anyways, guess we'll have to do that on the restock. But anyways, like it was, it was crazy. Like something that I love, like 
Something that's awesome about 2019 or just the time we're living in, like when people are like, oh, the internet's bad for you and everything like that, like, I remember growing up and feeling so alone around like, you know, the things I was into or, you know, whatever it was. Like when I was growing up and I was like a gamer and a computer nerd, like it wasn't cool yet, right? Like Ninja wasn't out here making millions, you know? But it was hard to find people who were into that same thing. So like I'm 34 years old now and whenever I see something that everybody can get behind and is into, whether it's makeup or whatever it is, I'm like, that is awesome, right? And it's so cool just like seeing all the young women and men, like, and it's not even just young, right? There were people of all ages up in that line, but it's so cool seeing everybody get together. So by the way, quick mental health tip, like find people who are into the same stuff that you are, because a lot of us are socially awkward and it's hard to start conversations. But if you find somebody who's into the same thing that you are, such as makeup, right? Start having that conversation. Or you notice like, like there were people in line, obviously everybody in the, uh, in the line was like a Shane Dawson fan or a Jeffree Star fan or both or whatever. Like it was easy for people to just start talking and having conversations, right? But I want you to kind of think about that because social connections are the best way to improve your mental health. Uh, you are a crazy cat. <laughs> 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 All right, so first piece of good news is nobody came up to me and tried to punch me in the face, so that's always good. But anyways, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if anybody recognized me. Nobody came up to me, so that's good, bad. I don't know. So I, I, I do think that it's important to realize sometimes, especially for those of us who have social anxiety, we are not nearly as important as we think we are. But anyways, the better news is, guess what's in here? Yeah, it was crazy. I was in line, I had to drop elbows on all these little girls trying to get their, their palettes. I'm just kidding. All right, all right. Thank you for watching my vlog of my experience. First time going to a makeup launch and I was so glad that I was with Shane Dawson, but you're all waiting like, yo Chris, when are you gonna give away some palettes? All right, so check this out. What do you gotta do to enter? What do you gotta do to enter? All right, just two very simple things. These are the easiest things that you gotta do. One is you gotta be subscribed, all right? And most of you are subscribed already, so booyah, you're 50% there, okay? But if you're not yet, make sure you're subscribed, notifications on, and all that good stuff. Second thing is there's a link down in the description right there, put in your email address and join my email list. All right, so check this out. It is November 1st when I am recording this and it is NaNoWriMo. So some of you know that I am a writer. So to try to get in the flow of writing, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing daily blogs about mental health, okay? Every single day and I'm gonna send those out in my email list as well. So every single day, I'll be sending you some mental health content. So if you're having a rough day at work or you're just like, you know, on the bus to work or you get home from work or you don't work, <laughs> you can read a mental health blog, all right? So I'll be providing you with additional content, additional value, all right? So all you gotta do is subscribe, sign up for the email list right down there below, okay? And I will be announcing a winner on Tuesday. All right, like my son said, I gotta build up a little suspense around this thing and I wanna make sure everybody has time to enter. All right, but I'm gonna be doing three separate giveaways. So make sure you're subscribed because even if you don't win this one, I'm gonna be doing two more, okay? So make sure you're subscribed and I'll talk to y'all very soon.